Welcome back. We are here looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, June 22nd, 2021. If you like supporting the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our news videos, and we'll stop by looking at Bitcoin. And as you can see, this market has absolutely tumbled today. We are getting very close to the bottom range of roughly 40,000. If you look at the where we are at this current stage, we can see that 40,000. 30,000 is the is the highest of the uh, 30,000 is basically the bottom here. And if this breaks, then we are looking at 20,000. 20,000 breaks, then we are looking at almost single digits and down towards five and 3,000. Yes, that sounds crazy, but it also sounds crazy that we we're, were above 60K only a few weeks ago. And now we're trading at uh, uh, 32K. So yes, it lost half, half of its value in roughly... Well, roughly a month and a half. So at this point, um, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency market in general are criticized nearly every single day. So here we had good news every single day. People were just pumping up this market um, in Instagram, in Twitter, and so on and so on. And uh, now the table has basically turned and we are kind of stabilizing here. But if this breaks, then we are looking at 20,000. And if 20,000 breaks, then, then watch out below. We're down roughly 8 9% at this current stage. Technical indicators are looking at dreadful. If you look at the weekly chart for Bitcoin, you can see that we ran into the 50 moving average um, today and then bounced from that. Um, or have run into the 50 moving average and then basically bounced from that. So... If this gives, then we have the 200 moving average down here at 13,000, and that gives, then we are looking at basically a massive uh, collapse in this market. So, yes, not a good move. We are significantly away from the uh, crossing of the MACD here again. It looks like we are heading into negative territory for the MACD, which is not a really good sign either. So, let's look at Ethereum. So very similar here for Ethereum, it is um, hanging about just the, the 200 moving average. And it's kind of, this is going to be uh, make a break here. If the 200 moving, moving average breaks, then we're probably going to drop towards the $1,000 range. And uh, after that, uh, uh, absolutely back towards $100 and so on. So we'll probably have a bounce from here as uh, this was a horrible day for ethereum it dropped roughly 13 14 percent at uh, uh, in a monday session if you look at technical indicators they are very bearish all of them so we may see a rally up towards the 20 exponential if we get rejected there then we can test the 200 again and if we have a crossing of the 20 and the 200 then we're going to drop significantly lower than we are at the moment so let's look at Cardano. So Cardano is still holding on, but still, it, it's still a gradual grind towards the 200 moving average down here at roughly $1. So Bitcoin, Ethereum, and most other uh, of the major cryptocurrency have been much more volatile than, than Ethereum has. Not, not Ethereum, but uh, Cardano has been. So um, even though we have this massive fall here, it's... Uh, it has not fallen as rapidly as, for example, Ethereum and Bitcoin has. So we may see a rally up towards the 20 exponential of uh, 1.45. If that re is rejected there, then we're heading back towards $1. And that's also going to be make a break here. If uh, $1 breaks, then we're looking at half a dollar and uh, lower than that. Technical indicators here are very bearish, but we're approaching oversold conditions. So let's look at Litecoin. So Litecoin also basically fell apart on Monday session, down 40%, give or take. We're approaching the previous lows here, which is 117. If that breaks, then we're looking at 100 and then much lower than that. Then we're going back towards 50 and uh, and even, even lower than that. Technical indicators are looking dreadful, but we may see a rally here up towards the 20 exponential, uh, probably on Tuesday or Wednesday, as we are getting into oversold conditions in the in the RSI. 
but technical indicators are looking uh, dreadful. If you look at the four hour chart for this, we can say that we are 27 and we're getting into conditions where, well, it kind of has to rally a bit before going lower. It's um, It will never go towards zero, but it's not looking very good for Litecoin. If we break 117, give or take, then 100, and then back towards these previous lows here prior to this rally. So let's look at NEO. Yes, NEO also fell substantially, probably due to the fact that most of this fall has been uh, due to the Chinese government um, cracking down on cryptocurrency as a whole. So um, mining is uh, basically getting eradicated in the, in in China. And um, yes, that kind of means that, that um, well, um, it's not going to be very popular or has been not been very popular for a really long time. This was basically made good news all the way and since the very high series has been absolutely terrible news every single day the cryptocurrency market has been under um, scrutiny and uh, it has basically lost most of its value we're trading at the 30 uh, 35 at this current stage and we were at 140 39 so an absolutely massive fall for neo if you look at technical indicators, they are all significantly bearish and uh, we are oversold. So we may see a rally up towards the 200 moving average, but we are most likely also going to see a crossing of the 20 exponential and, and the 200 and also the 50 and the 200 in the next uh, probably uh, week or two. So let's look at Dash. So Dash very similar to Litecoin is kind of the same um, same chart we're at uh, 29 in the rsi so we may see a rally up towards the 20 exponential before going lower but it looks like we are going to challenge uh, these uh, the lows here of 119 if that breaks then 100 and then we're most likely going to drop back to the previous lows here before this rally which is down at around 50 uh, give or take technical ind indicators are all very bearish and uh, we are significantly oversold, so a rally could be expected before going uh, lower. So let's look at Dogecoin. Yes, um, yeah, what can I say? It's it's down more than 20% on Monday's session, and it, the, uh, all the cryptocurrencies or all coins that were on um, on um, on Etoro's platform. This was one, definitely the one that was hardest hit today. Reason for that is kind of clear. Generally, uh, the market was hit due to um, a crackdown in China of uh, of uh, of, uh, of mining activities, and um, and uh, Dogecoin was definitely the one that got hardest hit today. So if you look at technical indicators, we can see that it's significantly oversold. So a rally tomorrow could be expected or on Wednesday, uh, but we are still in the in downward trend and it looks like 200 moving average is definitely going to be uh, targeted at 0 0.14. If that breaks it, then we're looking at back towards these very lows here. And the um, question is whether or not we get a fairly significant bounce from the 200 moving average. Um, yes, this was also created as a joke. It got a lot of hype as uh, some of those cryptocurrencies did rallied. People made uh, quite a lot of money, but probably also lost a lot of money in this uh, downfall here. And uh, kind of question is whether or not we managed to uh, rally from the 200 moving average. But break below here or a crossing of the 20 and the 50 and the 200 moving average then we are going to see significantly lower levels. So, hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And good luck and thank you very much.